he got outed by another actor. And you're like, well, who 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 outed who outed him? Who would out Billy, the fucking Blue Ranger, mister? He don't got problems with nobody. You know what I'm saying? He just want to do what he do. Sometimes people will speak off the cuff, okay? They'll speak off the cuff. They'll speak out of turn. They'll speak out of character. So he gets outed, guys, by um, Brian Cranston, Walter White. Walter White, guys. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate you. Um, Brian Cranston apologized for offending gay actor who portrayed the original Blue Ranger after breaking Brad Starr, made an ill-advised crack about his sexuality before he came out. Like, goddamn. And look, guys, I do got a gay friend. And he, he cool. He's cool as shit, man. Um, so he outs him. And look, what did it say? David Yost uh, said he faced some homophobia during the time as Blue Ranger. You like, what? On set? Yeah, we getting a little darker, guys, because we getting closer to the end. Yes, Walter White outed Billy for being gay. And you like, how did he do it? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the interview in which he said it. Um, his character was named after Brian because of the Breaking Bad star did the voiceover work for this show. Exactly right. He said he was hurt by the remark Brian Cranston made in a 2009 interview. Cranston described his character as fae, which means to be fairy-like. Okay. Yost had not come out publicly at the time of the interview in 2009. Let's go into the interview because you know I dig. You dig, bro. You like to dig. I dug, I dug it up the interview because I'm like, I need to see the goddamn original interview where he said f-e-y where he said fey because i'm like i want to see it for myself guys i am mr see it for myself um as an investigator as a former investigator that's what you want to do you want to see things for your goddamn self you know what i'm saying you want to see it for yourself when, when a girl tell me she want me to clock them cheeks i'm like well let me see it for myself no anyway <laughs> um so what does it say ign they're doing this interview brian i was looking at your imdb credits and it's long and impressive like pause <laughs> <laughs> pause um but there's one i have to ask you about here let me make it a little bit bigger you know that's what i told that girl in college but there's just one thing i have to ask about because it jumped out at me which was mighty Morphin power rangers uh gilligan you were on that how did the suit fit cranston he laughs well I was younger then. One of my jobs as a young actor starting out was a voiceover. I also did dubbing. A lot of dubbing, a lot of voiceover. So foreign films would come in and come and go. One of the places that did a lot of that was Saban Entertainment. And they would take movies and then cartoons from all over the world. And then we go do uh, the English dub. And the Power Rangers came in. And I did some voiceovers. I already been there a number of years just as a freelance guy coming in and out and it paid like 50 bucks an hour. God damn, man. Saban wasn't paying God, nobody. <laughs> um, but Saban was paying 50 bucks an hour, which was fantastic. And you work, uh, work three hours a day. So 150 bucks a day. I've been there for a while. And already then the power Rangers came in. They actually named one of the power Rangers after me. Yeah. The blue power Ranger, his name, his last name is Cranston. Um, uh, IG and last. Wow. That's pretty funny. Uh, Gilligan, that's some awesome story. Cranston, he's the Faye one. That's the problem. Okay. He is the Faye one. That's the problem. Now, look, to be true for, for this story, uh, he eventually did apologize. But as my gay friend told me, right, you know, I got a gay friend. He cool as shit. He's my guy. No, you're not like that, but you know, you're my guy. Um, I've known him for over a decade. And he said the worst thing that, um, someone could do to a gay person is to out them before they've publicly outed themselves. Because I had to talk to him about this. Um, I had to, you know, like, yo, I'm about to be talking about this. He probably in the stream. I told him don't say nothing because the trolls be watching. They be lurking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They be lurking on me. Um, so um, all my friends and family, I tell them don't comment. But he said, you're, you're taking away that person's ability to, you know, tear their truth the way they want to be told. And sure, it may have been known on set, but back in the day, this was a major thing. Now it's, you know, it's a little uh, looser, looser, but uh, he outed him and that wasn't cool. However, Yost told NBC out uh, Shradi was common during this time in the show and he was often called the F word on set, which is, uh, you know, you know, the F word. It became very frustrating because I didn't want to be gay. And I have all these people saying things about me. It was very detrimental to my mental health. And it started to take a toll on me to the point that I become suicidal. And I was on the show, Yo said. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that. Uh, word. 
Um, the 40 year old uh, also detailed he was hurt by the interview Cranston, who did the voiceover work on the show in the film in 2009. The actor was named Brian Cranston, the show writers. But anyway, uh, we're about to get to a little darker, a little darker. <laughs> 